And you're not really getting close enough to ever apply the slow necessarily. Oh yeah, that's very rare. Normally you're staying at a distance, so uh... Alright, well the horn will blow and we'll pop ourselves the into battle. game it one games. of a best of three. This is a uh, Windrunner mirror match game. Two will be a Lena vs. Lena, and if we need a game three we'll go back to our tried and tested Shadowfiend vs. Shadowfiend. So, resolution on the Radiant side, Ferrari on the, the Dyer. We expected last time to be this one of the more kind of farm oriented matches, but uh, it didn't really end up that way. So we'll see if these two players take a similar. It, this one has the potential to be a lot of fun. Yeah. So, uh, we'll see how these players look to play. If it's going to be more farm based, or if they go for the early kills. Pretty much a very Daddy. even block. No one, no one won that one. The most even block we've seen. Both people are trying to redirect the creep wave so that they can get the aggro off the range creep, but it didn't happen. Yeah. Well, Ferrari did have to use a power shot there, but he did get himself the the range creep last hit, so. Good start for Ferrari. He's actually got all three of the first last hits and resolution. So a, a rough start as uh, he does finally get his first deny on the board. So we'll see Ferrari on on his on his hill in a good position here, just because of the the equilibrium now. So the first creep wave very even with the equilibrium, but it's being pulled back to be in Ferrari. I think Ferrari could actually zone out starting at level two because resolution doesn't have any yeah. region, and Ferrari is very far ahead in terms of CS. So I think he sh he might start playing very aggressively soon. I see a Courier coming out Tango's. for resolution, but yeah, yeah, it's only Tango's and Ferrari's almost near top top, and he's doing a fantastic oh, job of dodging there. power shots. He's dodged three out of three so far, and continuously kept the creep wave on his hill, and is pushing into his tower. So Ferrari just doing everything right. All right, yeah, look, looking really good right now. The HP advantage is huge, and this is where Tango's will slowly heal up, sure, but you almost need to bring out a salve at well, some point. Or... Uh, it's also troublesome for him to actually get to a tree. Yes. Like. Right now, as he's like, he's okay. He pushes the wave out so he can use a Tengu here on the other side, but it's still very not. He's actually not using them right now. Okay, there we go. Walks very far. He's actually there's no rune pre two minutes. He's actually going to camp the rune. He's looking for a rune. Ferrari hasn't actually skilled his second skill point yet. Okay, so two points. Oh wow, That's he definitely has a skill. Will wonder. Oh, actually, oh, oh, he, he misses. misses. Oh, oh no. When you're if, He's just going to outrun it. He has a bottle here. Yeah, he's got bottles, so he can actually trade hits now with the bottle. He's bottle. He's left the career there, so he's going to be bottle crowing more or less. So, even though there's a DD rune, Ferrari can still do okay-ish with the power shots, man, and still holding on to skill points. Yeah, I think you you pretty much have to pick up one level of wind run. It's it's not a surprise ah. factor having two shackles as opposed to one. You can go like a four four zero build. <laughs> I don't know. You could technically get stats, but one run is just way there too good. There we go. At some it. almost every time you're gonna get a kill in this matchup, you're gonna be tower diving. Man, that DD rune just saves resolution though. He was he was just playing. He was missing so much experience, so much from the lane when he just camped. He was camped there for a good like 15 seconds, zoned out by Ferrari. And yeah, I think Ferrari could have pursued him at that point, but it is very unfortunate that he did get that rune inside. I don't think any other rune would have made that big of a difference yeah. except for that. Especially since he didn't have a bottle yet. Yeah, illusion is like comes close as far as the last game, but shot it down. Yeah, exactly. You can you can actually deal with the illusion. So Ferrari uh, can power shots banned himself now. Resolution is he gone bottle himself? Yeah, both players now with a bottle. Uh, bottle crow action happening on the dire side. There is going to be a magic wand fast from Ferrari, so this will open up some inventory space with all those branches of his, and uh, things will kind of quieten him down now. I don't think we'll see quite the same aggression we did earlier from RTZ and S4. Uh, necessarily. Yeah, especially with the bottles coming out. RTZ not going a bottle, it's, it's, he is on a timeline. Both of these going for bottles, they aren't on any one. Yeah. They aren't on one whatsoever. They could, yeah, they can, no, neither's gonna get out farm necessarily, or just, they're not gonna fall off. Going for the exact same item build basically means, hey, they're gonna match up pretty well here. They're gonna start trading hits here. There's level two winner from resolution. He pops it early and we'll keep trading hits here. Ferrari actually has the high ground advantage, holds onto his four minute rune coming up. It's an invis and Ferrari with win run still up. That guarantees him this rune. Well played. And a little bit of rune luck going both of these people's ways. And he does have invis and maybe can set up for something. He has yet again Ooh, saved his skill point. Gun. Got a bottle crow. He actually upgrades his career just for this, so. Uh, we'll see resolution, spam a couple power shots and send the bottle back home. So he is a little bit vulnerable at this point, but Ferrari, he's not really taking advantage of it. He could post up right next to resolution and zone him out from the creep wave, but resolution's yeah. still pulling ahead in terms of CS. Nice Ooh. power shots. With the, these two power shots hitting, I'd like to see, like, like you said, Ferrari just to post up, get aggressive with his positioning and try and zone him out a bit more. Hmm. He's actually gone for stats. 
uh, over the second point in Winra. Wow. Plus seven dollars. Oh, and no level one shackle. Oh, wow, that's very, very surprising. He's going super greedy farm mode in some ways here. Well, it does give you more right click damage too, to be yeah. fair. But at the same time, if you want to right click damage, you could get not more HP, more well. damage. It, at some point, it gives you an extra point in armor when you get your agi to a high enough level. So, yeah, it's not a not a bad choice, but I don't. But at the same time, get... you can compensate for that with items. You can't yes. compensate for armor with skill points or yeah. you know mana regeneration with skill points well Eight. i guess technically you can slightly but not to the point where it's actually effective picks up a bastion ring as well which does mean he wants to be able to at least pressure the tower when he pushes out these waves and if you put resolution on the back foot you can zone him out and get some chip damage dealt to this tower so he'll start getting to work on the right clicks there but very minimal damage yeah, Resolution hasn't been channeling a lot of his power shots just to ensure that they actually connect. Ferrari will miss a power shot on Resolution, but all in all, still very, very even. Ferrari pulling slightly ahead in last of the nice, but a lot of it may come down to the six minute rune. Resolution, he will, he's barely keeping up with Bottle Coming. See if he had his shackle shot right there, I mean, he can. God, he's, he's going, oh, misses the power shot. That would have been a killing blow here. Ferrari, gonna keep trading hits though. He's got another power shot soon. There is a win run available. He's gonna use it. Resolution's gonna battle this one out. Ferrari's bot up during the win run and this means resolution could be done for he power shots but not enough damage that was so aggressive by resolution he needed a flask to compensate for him taking so yeah. much damage he had like 200 hp by the time his bottle came out again and that's not gonna be enough to heal him up well played by ferrari again so that was like the first finish where i feel like resolution didn't even come close like so many of these other times where they when they finally commit to a kill it's been like neck and neck 50 hp 5 hp Ferrari was like he never even had had any. I doubt think Resolution there. also went for uh, Focus Fire too. 